Hey, what's up? And thanks for joining me on the airwaves. I'm Andy, K5PO. So you're looking for a dual bander mobile radio, VHF, UHF, two meters, 70 centimeters. There are about a billion options out there for you. You're uh, 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 from the most basic old school sort of stuff. that will still do the work great on FM to some really high end stuff, especially from Yesu and ICOM, and there's stuff from Anytone and all kinds of newer players that can offer some great features and great values too at this point. Uh, you know, so I think a great mobile sort of setup to start with uh, is something that has sufficient power. You know, you want at least 20 to 30 watts, uh, if not more, on both 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Um, and then you have a good starting place. You have a good, solid base, FM 2 meters, FM 70 centimeters for your mobile or maybe even your home setup. But specific to the mobile sort of setup, there are some unique considerations. Well, you're moving, uh, and that's a pretty obvious one. If you go and your path in your vehicle has you on the same couple of miles every day, day in and day out, then honestly, what I'm going to talk about may not really matter to you that much. But if you occasionally go off the beaten path, take a trip some 20, 30, couple hundred miles away from your house, then this feature on the ICOM ID5100 may be just what you're looking for. I've had the ICOM ID5100 for, I think, around six, seven years, something like that. It actually may be closer to 10. Um, and it's been a great radio. I've had it in and out of a couple of different vehicles. And uh, to be honest, um, I don't love the screen. It's a touch screen that's monochromatic. Um, it's okay. The screen is detachable from the head, or it's, it's actually not attachable to the base. Uh, 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 the head is not attachable to the, the body of the radio, which is fine, uh, and especially useful for how I've had my mobile setups um, configured in my vehicles. But I don't super love the screen. I don't love the touch screen. Um, I kind of wish it had some color and a bit more vibrance, but that's okay. What keeps me coming back to it are two features. Let's take a look at what those are. So let's look at what one of my, or two of my favorite features of this radio are, which are that you can search for nearby repeaters based on your GPS location, or you can scan them. So as you see at the top here, this radio has GPS built into it. So you don't need a separate uh, um, antenna or GPS unit for the GPS signal to be processed by the radio. So we have a couple different options. First, we can click and we can select a near repeater and we can either select all near repeaters, just digital voice or just FM. We'll just select all for now. And what it comes back with is a list of repeaters you see over to the right, sorted by proximity to my GPS location, which it's already determined. And you can flip through those, and as you see, we scroll down, we're getting further away, 19, 25 miles, 26, 54, the furthest, I think I, I, think I have this, the threshold set to repeaters within 100 miles, uh, even though I'm probably not likely to receive this, uh, this particular W0HL repeater unless there was some sort of opening. Um, really, really awesome, especially if you're in an area that, you know, that may be 20, 30 miles away from your house or hundreds of miles away from your house. You can load those repeaters in uh, based upon, you can load a giant list of repeaters in in a single or even multiple CSV files and you can have those ready. Let's say I'm, let's say I'm a couple of hundred miles away from my house. I could load up, um, you know, Texas repeaters in South Texas. I, uh, I could load up repeaters for, I, I'm based in Arkansas. I could load up repeaters in uh, Ohio or something like that and load up a new CSV uh, list from the SD card on the body of this radio. So let's look at one of the other options here. So I can click to scan and I can scan nearby repeaters as well. So it's going to search based upon, again, by my GPS location. And now it's scanning through repeaters that are 
close to me by proximity. These two features are honestly some of the coolest features on a mobile radio that I've ever seen. Truly powerful and really the reason I've kept this radio are those features. So look, like I said, there's a lot of things you may be looking for in a mobile two meter and 70 centimeter radio. That's what I really love about this one. Um, I'd love to hear what you're looking for uh, and what makes your radio special or work really well for you. Tell me in the comments. If you like this, like it. If you really liked it, subscribe. That's cool too. Take care. Thanks for joining me on the airwaves. 73, be well. Peace.